So Thomas was referred to our practice, Wild Vision Therapy, to help him with some of the visual problems that he was experiencing. He suffered a concussion in January 2012. And following the concussion, he found himself in a situation where he had difficulty doing many of the day-to-day -day tasks that he used to be able to do without any trouble. And I was so dizzy and nauseous all the time. All I, could, I, all I ate for a month was toast and bagels with butter. So I was really dizzy. I could hardly walk without like holding on to something. And then headaches, really tired, fatigued. Uh, I could sleep all day. I would sleep till five o'clock like there was nothing. When a person has a concussive injury, there's actually a shearing effect that occurs within the neurons of the brain. This disruptive effect results in many different difficulties and oftentimes affecting the visual system. The words would sort of move when I was dizzy. The book was moving on the table. The table was sort of moving. <laughs> the whole board was shaking kind of when I was looking up to copy the notes. Tom was presented to our office with a condition known as oculomotor dysfunction. This is where he had trouble moving his eyes from spot to spot to spot in an area of eye movement control known as a saccadic eye movement. In neurooptometric vision rehabilitation or vision therapy, we're helping the patient reestablish those neural connections through a process that is based on neuroscience. This particular area of dysfunction is common to see with individuals who've had a concussive injury and it's part of a syndrome known as the post-trauma vision syndrome where the individual will have a loss of eye coordination. We designed an individualized plan of neurooptometric vision rehabilitation, which works on a process of helping him to gain vision coordination abilities and his ability to gain better depth perception and judgment of where he is in space, and basically help to reestablish those visual skills that were lost as a result of the traumatic incident.